Hi guys, I'm Ryan Houston and welcome to my Fly Time channel. Your video is about to start shortly. Please take this opportunity to hit the like button down below, leave some comments, tell your friends. Interaction, likes, subscriptions help my channel to grow and help me to keep producing content for yourselves. If you're new to my channel, check out the other videos that I've got. There are over 500 videos at this stage, so there should be something there for everybody. Again, video is about to start hit that like button down below. Okay guys, so we're going to tie a pike fly tonight. So this one is uh, to imitate a jack pike. Because pike are not above eating their own kind. So I have a Sakuma 470 top gun in a 6.0 here. And it'll follow a similar form to the flies that you've seen me tie before. Um, but maybe a little bit more slimline in profile. So I'm going to use a bit of this uh, silver mobile as the core of the tail. So we'll pull out maybe a dozen or so strands. And I'm going to lay this on here probably sort of 75, 25. And tie across and fold all those bits back. And that'll give us the core of our tail on a fly that's nine inches or so long. So just glue over those wraps and then I'm going to support the body with a bit of this olive deer hair. Let's take a bunch of that. Reverse it round, pinch it by the bases, and tighten into that. Now you'll see it start to splay up. Put in six or seven wraps there just to hold that in place. And then what I'm going to do is to get that central portion super glued, making sure that a little bit of the super glue wicks each way. Take a straw, then fold all this back. I'm really going to pull it tight back and just pinch that and that will give us less flare than what we're used to. So next is a tinsel uh, section or portion. So I've made a, a mix here. Um, so you may or may not be able to see the different colors in there. So we've got uh, like a bronze holographic, there's oval, or sorry, not oval, there's olive. Um, there's a little bit of gold holographic in there as well. So the, we're aiming for predominantly like an olivey, browny kind of a, a mix here. So I'll take this bunch and I'll just pull fibers out to create a taper and probably a little bit more so than what we have done with other patterns. Set that on, allow it to display and tie around it. This bit, we we'll just fold it back on itself. And wrap over that doubled portion. So that gives us our olivey browny flash portion to our fly. So Next I'm going to switch to the connect lawn or pipe fiber type stuff. So what I've got here is a bunch and I've mixed this. This is uh, like a light olive, a darker olive and like a chestnut brown mixed together. And you just put the three together and just keep throwing it back on itself until it mixes it evenly. We'll take a bunch of that. Again, misalign it so we get this taper. 
and tie it in on top rather than allowing it to display the whole way around. And the reason for that is we're going two tone here, so I'm going to do the same with a bunch of white misaligned. Flip the fly over, set that on the underneath pinch loop, tie it in place, and several wraps just to hold that. So, next we're going to fold that. So, we'll put a blade of glue around it, take our big straw, and fold back, and then stroke. Just stroking and pulling at the same time here and then pinch so if you didn't have any other materials you could quit at this point stick eyes on this thing and it would work just as well but we're going to go a little bit more Fancy, I suppose. So, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put a couple of feathers in on either side. So, you can see here this is a ginger, uh, like a barred ginger cape that I've dyed in uh, fluorescent olive. Although, any sort of olivey, grizzly type feather would do. I'm going to put one of these on either side, and that'll just give me the uh, the barred markings of a jack pike. I'll double those stalks back for security and snap them off. To finishing off head, uh, I'm going to use we're continuing with the two tone theme, so I'm going to get a bit of white craft fur, pull out the under fur because again we're trying to stay slim here. Flip that over and hold it on the underside, and for the top of the head, now I couldn't find a craft fur that suited me, so what I'm going to use is this sort of. Uh, Olive dyed fox. Take a portion of that. Get the really short under fur out of it. Top, so you can see it's sort of meeting 50-50. Half hitch in there. Cut that off. And then we want to stroke everything back so we end up with that sort of 50-50 head. White in the bottom. Olive on top. Hold all back. And super glue. Put on the big straw and pinch. And hold that until it uh, starts to heat up on you. And take it off. And that is the uh, body of our jack pike. Tight. So same idea as the other flies we've tied before, but slightly slimmer because the nature of the shape of a pike. So, we're going to stick on a head and some eyes on that. So, we shall set that one aside and do the uh, one I tied earlier job again. So, what you'll see is that I have stayed well back of the eye. And hopefully we'll be able to achieve some sort of like an elongated head like a pike out of this. So we'll give it a go. So 
I'm going to use uh, my five minute two part epoxy as per usual. So I have a little bit of them onto a post it pad here, and then I'm going to mix it up and apply it with one of these sort of skewer things. So um, I'm going to create uh, a glittered effect to this, so I'm going to put a little bit of gold glitter in and some bronze glitter. So mix this together. is this two-tone glitter. So, there's a couple of fibers there that are just going to make a little bit messy, so I'll just get rid of them. And then we're going to create our head. See, I'm sort of drawing that out a bit to lengthen the head appearance. And I'm going to use these sort of olivey natural kind of eyes on this. fly up on its side and set in the other one. And it takes a few minutes for this to sort of set itself. So what I'm trying to achieve is I'm trying to get the eyes set well back. and a bit of length to it. I'm going to add a little bit more of our glue here. Out to create a nose. So you can see we have that sort of elongated shape now. Sort of stretch that forward and then I'll rotate it as it dries to keep it hopefully in that long shape like a pike's nose. And then what I want to do starts to settle back, I'm just drawing it forward again. Now you could use UV, so once I have that sort of shape, what I'm going to do is I turn it upside down and I'm going to sprinkle white or pearl onto the underside of it to give me that again two tone head effect. It's starting to get a little bit thicker now. Just before it sets, I will just do the final repositioning. Of the eyes, just push them in. 
straighten them up or down, whichever way they need to go. And that is our fly tied. Just wait for that to set. So that is our little jack pike. So hopefully you liked the fly. I said if you did, give us a like, subscribe, uh, check out all the other videos on the channel. There's over 500 to have a look at. Tell all your friends and until next time, tight lines. Thanks for watching.